Hey guys, so I'm back with, I think it's number eight, or nine, I can't, I think it's nine, whatever, um, of the NAMI Principles of Support. And this one is, we embrace humor is healthy. And my opinion about this <clears throat> is, it, this to me can be applied to any area of life, any area. Not just mental health, not just physical health, but anything. And when I was growing up, you know, when you're a kid, you know, you're silly, you laugh, you have fun, you play, blah, 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 blah. But then when I got to a certain age, for some reason, that became inappropriate. All of a sudden, I was supposed to be this serious adult when I was a teenager. And being silly all the time wasn't part of the plan. I mean, sorry, being a, you know, being, I think I said, oh my God, I don't even remember what I'm talking about. <laughs> sorry. Um, being silly wasn't part of the plan. I had to be serious and focused and, you know, act like an adult. And to me, I didn't understand why all of a sudden being silly or laughing or having fun wasn't part of being an adult. Like I didn't understand what people were telling me. I'm like, what? Why? I'm like, why do I have to take everything so seriously? And they're like, well, that's just how it is when you're an adult. And I'm like, uh, okay, I, I never understood that. I still don't understand that. But I tried to be serious all the time. And you know what? I was miserable. I it depressed me. I, I was, I was becoming angry and I didn't like that about myself. So I realized, you know what? I got to start being who I want to be. And if I want to laugh all the time, I'm going to laugh. If I want to be silly, I'm going to be silly. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that at any age. I don't care what your situation is where you're coming from, where you live, who you are, laugh. It's good for you. It makes you feel good, you know? So I, I really believe that, yes, there are things in life as an adult that must be taken, taken seriously, paying your rent, raising children, um, illnesses and things like that. But at the same time, don't forget to laugh. Don't forget to be happy because life is too short to be serious all of the time about everything. It's too short and frankly, I find it really exhausting and, you know, it's just not for me. So for an example, this past week was vacation and <laughs> Monday through... Friday. All I did <laughs> was play with the neighborhood kids and my son. We played. That's all. Laughing, giggling, having fun. It didn't have to be so serious. I mean, yeah, if they were doing something that was inappropriate, like hurting each other, I'd say, look, that's not going to happen. Let's just have fun. You know, let's not ruin it. That's the serious part. And then we played you know, played basketball, they rode their bikes. I mean, the boys tried tackling me, they never got me down. <laughs> this is funny. Um, but look, I'm smiling about it. I had fun. It was awesome, you know, and you know, you just gotta, sometimes you gotta sit back and laugh, you know, and like for me, my mental illness is, um, yeah, it's serious. You know, sometimes it can be so serious that people end up in the hospital. And yes, that's not funny. However, um, when I think about the different aspects of mental illness, of course it should be taken seriously. But at the same time, I'm not going to let it... I'm not going to let it become something that I take so seriously that it, that I start to feel bad about it. 
you know, I'll be like, yeah, I have mental illness. So what? <sighs> so, you know, um, whatever I have pimples. So what? Like it's still a medical condition to have pimples, but so what? Who cares? You know? Um, so I don't know. It's just finding to me, it's finding the bright spots in all of the seriousness and, and anger or depression or whatever it is. Try to find something to smile about. Try to find something that makes you happy. You know, even if you don't think it's going to make you happy, just try it. I mean, go outside and play with some kids. You know, trust me, you'll feel good, <laughs> you know, because there's something about, I don't know, to me, there's something about playing and just letting go that is a liberating and freeing experience. You know, it's just... <sighs> I can't take life too seriously. Like I said, some parts are serious, but the rest just smile, just laugh, just have fun because you never know when it's, when your life is going to be over, you know? So there is this, uh, philosophy that when I was, um, when I was a freshman, there was, I had a class, there was a classmate of mine who, um, he lost his life. And on his tombstone, it has his philosophy that says, life is a privilege, live it to the fullest. And that is such a true statement, in my opinion, because life is a gift. It is. It's a privilege. It's something that we shouldn't take for granted. And you just got to take life as it comes at you, you know, trying to be serious all the time and act a certain way. I mean, I don't work like that. I don't, you know, I like to have fun. I like to laugh. And if that's my way of living it to the fullest, then so be it. I'm not going to let all the bad things that happen or sad things or whatever dictate how I want to feel. Yes, if somebody dies, it's tragic, it's sad. You mourn, you go through that period, but you got to learn how to feel those emotions, go through them, deal with them, and then come out of it and keep living your life. You know, that person would not want you to be sad all the time. They'd want you to live your life and be happy. So, I don't know, that just sort of resonated with me. It really did. So, I'm just trying to say that that's how I take it. Sometimes you just gotta laugh at stuff. You just gotta laugh. You just <laughs> don't take it so seriously. You know, laugh, have fun, be silly, play with kids. I don't mean it in a sick way. I mean just, you know, play games with kids, basketball, whatever. You know, just just be happy. It's, it's a lot better than being upset, depressed, angry, anxious all the time. Of course, those feelings will come up, but you know, so doesn't being happy. And to me, that is just the greatest feeling in the world. All right. That's my take on, uh, we embrace humor is healthy. <laughs> oh, and watch Dana Carvey. I mean, I don't know if you like him, but I think he's funny. <laughs> so that also helps me. All right, I'm going to go. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.